One of America's favorite pastime is the game of baseball. At this game, you can find fans enjoying some of America's most delectable menu items. Hot dogs, popcorn, and cotton candy. But as they make their way back to their seats, you seem to notice that hundreds of fans are enjoying one of America's most popular staple snacks, shelled peanuts. According to Sports Illustrated, American baseball fans enjoyed in between four to seven million bags of peanuts during the 2022 MLB baseball season. If we were to convert that to, let's just say, a MLB seasonal consumption rate, that would equate to a whopping 550 to 963,000 jars of peanut butter that was consumed just by Major League Baseball fans in 2020. 2022, excuse me. If we think about it from a global consumption, the world has produced well over 50.3 million tons of peanuts. And this includes peanuts that is a valuable commodity that is used for its oil production. Aside from its oil production, peanuts have a byproduct that contains essential nutrients, micronutrients, polyphenols, and other bioactive compounds that can be added back to other foods for their functional ingredient properties. Globally, consumers waste approximately 1.4 billion tons of food every year. Food waste impacts us all. In fact, in the United States, we waste more food than any other country in the world. It is estimated that this food waste is anywhere between 40 million tons or 80 billion pounds of food waste on an annual basis. What contributes to these factors can include socioeconomics, disparities, or even issues that can affect the behavior. But more importantly, we know that food waste impacts us globally by contributing to 11% of the world's greenhouse emissions. This includes factors such as American households, 43% contribute to this food waste, 40% of restaurants, or food venues, establishments, where uh, uh, patrons throw away food. 16% of farm agricultural operations where there's post-harvest loss, and approximately 2% of food process or value-added production where they produce too much food. I have a proposition. What if we can use some of these most commonly discarded food waste to solve some of the world's most perplexing chronic or acute diseases or disabilities. What if we can solve food allergies, specifically peanut allergy or peanut hypersensitivity. Instead of contributing back to the landfills where food is the single number one largest contributor to our landfills, perhaps we can help solve some of these perplexing medical issues that are afflicting our citizens. What if 
we can use peanut skins. Yes, peanut skins to solve peanut hypersensitivity or allergies? Yes. You mean those peanut skins that get all over our clothes, in between our teeth, are hard to clean up? Yes. Perhaps we can use peanut skins to develop new value-added products. In fact, peanut skins make up approximately 2.6% of the total weight of the peanut seed on a weight basis. Peanut skin contains minerals, vitamins, fats, and about 18% crude protein. On a global scale, approximately 52 million tons of peanut skins were processed in 2022. Normally, peanut skins is a byproduct that is normally discarded. However, industries are starting to use this as an addendum or an additive to animal feed. So what can we do to add value back to this perplexing global or even national problem? Well, one, I could tell you, peanut skins contain higher antioxidant capacity or levels, and peanut skins roasted. Peanuts roasted with the skin contains higher antioxidant capacity than blueberries, red wine, and even green tea. There is numerous of studies out there that demonstrates the health benefits of the consumption of peanuts and or peanut skins. However, individuals who are highly sensitive to the consumption of peanuts, it could be potentially hazardous or dangerous to their health. The exact science behind peanut allergy is relatively unknown. However, researchers do agree that there is a key protein that is produced by immunoglobulin epsilon, or IgE, that produces a protein or a compound called histamine. When an individual who is highly allergic to peanuts consumes this product, there's an elevation in the histamine that leads to anaphylaxis shock. Signs and symptoms can include swelling in the throat, tingling on the skin, as well as temperature, nausea, as well as vomiting. Several strategies to combat peanut allergy or hypersensitivity can include strict avoidance or the use of rescue medication in the event of an accidental exposure to peanut proteins or allergens. When we think of peanut allergies, North Carolina A&T State University is one of the first laboratories in collaborations with scientists at North Carolina State University to develop immunotherapy technologies to peanut hypersensitivity or allergies. Our group is the first to show the hypoallergenic properties of peanut skin polyphenol protein aggregates, or PSP for short, in both an in vivo animal model as well as in a cell culture model. The direct results from these studies indicate that we could potentially utilize a waste product that is normally discarded or considered to be undesirable as a potential solution to our landfill and food waste problem. 
In our laboratory, we show not only that they have hypoallergenic properties, but they can also reduce the IgE binding to basophils by up to 19% and reduce histamine production by almost 50%. This is significant when you think about something that we normally discard that could be used for its medicinal purposes and for its health benefits, especially in combating peanut hypersensitivity. So the next time you're enjoying a can of peanuts in the comfort of your home, or you're at a sporting event, think about all of the wonderful attributes and properties of peanut skins. Think about how we, actually how you, can help fight not only our food waste issues, the landfill issues, but how we can take a simple waste product, a fluffy light product, and use it as a potential immunotherapy technology. In the future, perhaps, we all can continue to think about these ways and how we can utilize these products. In fact, the future is now. At Louisiana State University, in collaboration with my scientists at North Carolina State University, we have developed a peanut skin ice cream sandwich. In the effort of hoping people can enjoy this pastime snack, but not only enjoy the pastime snack, but also help reduce our landfill contributions and potentially help fight chronic and acute illnesses or disabilities. You know what? I think I'm going to go have one of these peanut sandwiches right now and sit down and think about all the ways I can help fight food waste, but more importantly, think about ways I can help solve peanut allergy hypersensitivity. Thank you.